Hello everyone and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to come together to spend a few moments in God's word and prayer. This week we're talking about work and how work is an integral part of our lives and God is a God who has designed us to work. And he also said he will bless us even as we work. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 11. Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands. Sometimes we think that our work gets in our way of what we really want to do. Some of the early Christians in Thessalonica, work got in their way because they were waiting for Christ's return. Certain that Jesus was coming again very soon, they apparently put down their tools and spent time being idle. Waiting is not a place of inactivity. Paul's advice to them was work with your hands, which assures us that we are to work daily, which matters to God. Even humble work is an opportunity to use the gifts that God has given us to serve others. Most parents would agree that their children don't want to wait for anything. The last thing a kid wants to hear is not now, later. It can prompt anger, frustration or even hopelessness. This struggle of waiting follows most of us even through our adult years. We, not, we may not respond in the same emotional outburst as children, but most of us will still hate waiting for what we want. We want everything done quickly. And the new devices that constantly spring up meet those demands and encourage our impatience. Our society makes every attempt to make life easier, which is good. There is nothing wrong in waiting. Something actually happens while nothing is happening. God uses the waiting to change us. Some of the greatest figures in the Bible, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, David, had to wait many years for God's promises. Everything that happened in the meantime was to prepare them inwardly as well as outwardly. Then when they reached their promise, they were blessed beyond measure. God invites us to trust in His goodness today and in His faithfulness tomorrow. Relinquishing control to Him is the main route to experience His love and peace. It unites our hearts with His. It creates a level of maturity and character that we will take with us into the future. And it enables us to enjoy His future blessings all the more. As we wait, keep working hard, trust God and walk in humility. Remember, waiting time is never a wasted time. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this word that we have learned today, O oh God. Lord, maybe many of us are in the season of waiting waiting on you, waiting on your promises, Lord, waiting for direction. I pray, God, that we will use this time not just being idle, but, Lord, you will enable us, lead us to continue to work, to continue to do what you have called us to do. But when we receive the promise, we will enjoy it and know that you are working in our waiting, oh God. We thank you. Grant us your grace, grant us hope, Grant us faith, O oh God, to walk this life, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.